Hello everyone, this is Firoz from Magnifus IT Solutions. So in this video we are going to look at uh, an overview on to Microsoft uh, Dynamics 365. So as you know uh, Dynamics 365 has been launching November this year, uh, close to one and a half months now. So let's have a look at what are the new features that are uh, introducing to Dynamics 365 and also we will work around their, on their application. So let's first log into the application so once you log in you can see uh, the ui has been a change a bit now you can see the logo has been changed to dynamics 365 from dynamics uh, crm and also here on the left hand side once you click on this button you can see some of the option here has been changed if you come down scroll down you can see one section such as dynamics 365 it's available also power offs so and then uh, on the right hand side we can see flow for the rest most of the items are pretty much the same when, uh, even when you access dynamics crm so let's click on dynamics 365 so it will take you to the home.dynamics.com page basically the home page of dynamics 365 and here you have an option to search for all your applications under that you can see my apps so you have sales customer service and dynamics 365 custom application so here at the right hand side uh, it is giving an option to find for more apps it is taking you to app source once you click on it it will take you to the take you to um, app source of dynamics 365 so app source is nothing but the application repository which is suitable for dynamics 365 so if you are not aware of dynamics 365 it is nothing but uh, Microsoft is combining the features of uh, Dynamics CRM as well as Dynamics uh, ERP. So here in this app source, you can find all the application which is suitable for AX or in a much more way, I can say uh, Dynamics ERP and Dynamics CRM related application you can find here. Some of these are free, some of them are paid from where we'll get the free trial for which are all paid application and for the free you can get you can directly go and access them so you also have the option to search for the application or or you can filter them out based on uh, the domain you are looking for operations or sales financials yeah once you just click on get it now it will ask you to complete some um, terms and conditions once you agree that one then you can start using this all these apps Okay, so you can use any of the existing apps or you can just go to app source and find more applications. So here we have at the Dynamics 365 home. So there you can see. So the UI is a little uh, confusing or maybe I would say it is a little annoying when you are coming to Dynamics CRM to Dynamics 365. Yeah, so here you can see sales, customer service. So earlier in Dynamics CRM we had sales, marketing and service. So here uh, sales and customer service are separated into two different apps or applications so once i click on sales then that will take you to the sales application right dynamics 365 then you have home the applications that you have added and here in under sales you can get all the modules so this part is similar to you on the site map sales marketing and setting here you don't have the service part then if you go to dynamics 365 customer service So there once you go to the sitemap then you'll get the service module here along the settings and training so this is pretty much the end of three modules they have combined in uh, they have split into two uh, a sales application and service application yeah so let's go back to the sales application again so here we have all the items pretty much all the entity and everything is the same functionality wise everything is the same a little bit of change has happened to the ui you can see this uh, command bar has been change to black color early it was a dark blue color and also this you can see the buttons have all change a bit so that are basically the changes we have uh, not much into the functionality side if in terms of uh, the um, customer message when come to the business process flows we have two changes basically one is into the business rules the way of developing business rule has been changed in terms of the uh, ui part functionalities remains the same and also business process flows okay so let's go to opportunities yep. 
here on the opportunity record and if you just edit your process your business process flow so here you can see uh, the stages opportunity qualify opportunity develop propose and close so this is nothing but the stages on your opportunity sales process so everything is the same only thing that you has changed in terms of the functionality not much things have changed here you have a mini map and then you have once you click here you can see the stages i mean the fields on the stage seven fields then you can see here four fields like that so if you want to add a new step here for example you can just drag and drop the step here wherever you want to in the same way if you want to add a stage you can come here and add wherever you want to and also when you come to condition this is nothing but branching where you want to add the branching you can add them yeah the other functionality that you have here is nothing but um, validate so once you click on validate to check what where all the errors are there or or if I mean if it is good to work so now you can see there are three errors in this condition because we didn't add anything here in this condition point in this um, branching part so that's why this error coming if you want to remove anything from here we can just delete it so we'll, we will be so you can see more details on process flow editor on on my next video also the business rules so when you come to the form editor yeah when you go to business rules When you create a new business rule, you can see a uh, editor which is something similar to your uh, business process flow editor. When you come to the functionality, like I mentioned earlier, there is not much changes, but yeah, the UI has changed a bit. Yep. So here you can see the business flow uh, window. You can see the condition. Yep. So then here, this is the condition part. Here is the mini map. Then what you can see is you can put the condition over here just click on here then here we have the two areas commons which is showing the commons such as the condition the action that is lock unlock show error message set field value etc this are nothing but the same action that you can do and once you go to properties each item when you click on here you can see the properties so what is the name you need to give here check is the uh, the uh, purchase time frame is immediate and which entity you have you can select the entity here then what is the rule you are going to give okay so you can give entity that is the field i'm going to give purchase time frame where equal to value immediate Okay, so that's the condition here. So if the condition is satisfied, here you have two endpoints. One is when the condition is true, and that condition is false. So if the condition is true, you can just set a field value here. Yeah, and you can put an action here. You can go to the properties. What is the action you need to do? And we can select some value over here. Also, you can put some action over here. Yeah, on the we are going to log that field. Yep, right. So here you can see the mini map. I'm just going to minimize it. I'm just going to minimize the text view as well. Then you can see if the condition is right, if the purchase time frame is equal to true, then it will go to the it will set the field value. If it is false, it will go to log the budget field. Then you can just give one name here. This rule is validated. Yeah, it is showing validation is successful. Just click save. Then you just activate it. So in terms of functionality again, it's not much change. Only thing that it gives you a drag and drop functionality available on your entity. So that's about the new features we have or new functionality we have in Dynamics 365. Apart from that, pretty much everything is the same. So, in addition to these uh, Dynamics CRM functionalities, you can also opt for uh, other apps such as Operations. Yeah, we need to select for get more apps. That will take you to App Source. There, you can choose for uh, Dynamics 365 for Operations, Dynamics 365 for 
365 for uh, field service, Dynamics 365 for uh, project automation. All these are the other functionality available in terms of the ERP application. You can select them, add to your uh, Dynamics 365 account so that you can start using them. Yeah, so here you can just look for all the operations. These are basically the uh, six apps or six uh, domain of apps that you can available in Dynamics 65. Operations, sales, financial, customer service, field service, project service automation. So I'm just looking for apps which is suitable for operations. So I was looking for yeah, Dynamics 365 for operations. Yeah, here we go. CPQ for Dynamics 365 operations. Here you can see Dynamics 65 field service. You can just try the free trial, agree the conditions, so that these apps will be added to your Dynamics 365 account. Yeah, just give an option. Add to add the Dynamics 65 to your application. So you need to select your organizations, okay, and then you can add them. Okay, so that was a quick introduction to Dynamics 365 and overview. And thanks for watching.